Hey everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we are going to show you how to remap the controls for the arcade game Tron into something that's a little easier to use with the Steam Deck. Now, if you remember Tron as a controller with a button trigger and a spinner, and the way that it's set up now, it is pretty much completely unplayable. So let me show you what it looks like out of the box. Okay. So right now, so if you don't know Tron, Tron has four different game areas. So right now you have to use the D-pad to move to a direction. And you have to use the D-pad to move. But his arm, and there's no, you, his shooting doesn't work unless you press A but you have no way of actually moving his arm. Now you can use, this kind of sort of works, but you can't move at the same time using the left analog stick. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's no way that this control scheme works whatsoever. What we would like to do is have the right and left on this analog stick control the spinner, trigger be the fire, and then either one of these controls could actually move them. So let's go ahead and hit L3 and R3. We're going to go into our quick menu and we're going to go to controls. Now, the first thing you want to do under manage remap files is to create one for Tron. So save a game remap file. Now you see it says Tron RMP. That's what we want. Go to port one controls. The first thing we're going to do is change analog to digital type to left analog force. That's going to make this left analog stick behave like the D-pad. Next, we're going to remove button one control from A. You could leave it if you wanted to. It'd be no big deal, but I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to remove the other four entries that are here because we're not going to need them. So let's remove these four entries. Sorry for the moir pattern here. Okay. And what we need to do is the trigger is actually auto plus five. So let's make that button one. And then two left and right are minus two and plus two for the right analog stick. So we're gonna make this one dial minus and this one dial plus. So now plus and minus will go right and left on the controls. That's really it. That's all it takes to make this game actually considerably playable. So for the MCP, now we can move, we can rotate our arm and we can fire with the fire button exactly like we're supposed to. This feels great. I mean, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to not use an actual spinner, of course. And that's pretty much it. And that will work for the tanks, the grid bugs, um, and of course the um, MCP cone that we already did. And of course it doesn't do anything here, except for now trigger is your speed control, like it should be. Perfect. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this quick look. Thanks, like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Appreciate your patronage. I'm Shane Armand Rowe, and until next time, take care.